Amelia Earhart once said, adventure is worthwhile in itself. And for us four-wheel drivers, this couldn't be more true. So, one Friday night, in the middle of summer, we took eight keen four-wheel drivers on an adventure that they would never forget. Some say we're crazy for choosing to tackle difficult terrain at night, and maybe we are. But adventure is all about exploring the unknown, and wheeling at night carries with it a certain sense of untold mystique that you just don't get standing behind the security of daylight. We weren't sure exactly where we wanted to end up or how long it was going to take, but sometimes it's the journey that teaches you a lot about your destination. And whilst we all knew we were in for a challenge, none of us knew just how crazy the next seven hours were about to be. This particular trail starts out fairly tame, tricking drivers into a false sense of security. However, we knew this would not last though, so we made the most of the easy going, taking it slow to ensure proper wheel placement and a steady throttle. Very quickly though, the trail had us all saying, are we sure? As it went from a mild climb to a serious risk of body damage. As luck would have it, the wheelbase and front locker in the XJ allowed me to crawl this ledge with ease. Those with two door Wranglers however were not so lucky, and needed a bit of technical driving to get through safely. Luckily Craig, the driver of this white two-door, has had more than enough experience in difficult terrain and was able to pass this without sweat. Nice, Brad. Onwards we pushed up the trail with me letting Craig's JK on 35s come through to plough some ruts, as my smaller 31s would have had no chance at all. And, with a few flamboyant attempts, we were all up safely. Further up the trail though, we came to what looked like an impossible set of rock ledges, and for nearly all of us, winching was the only chance of getting through. After about six hours and only three kilometres on the trail, we were all absolutely exhausted when we got to the top. And after everyone having to winch over the last obstacle, Rob in his Nissan GQ patrol did something incredible. After a few unsuccessful attempts, we were all assuming he would have to winch the same as all the Jeeps and the Defender in the group. But, to our amazement, he'd launched his Nissan into the hill, and had actually managed to drive it. To the credit of his unbelievably capable vehicle and his driving ability, Rob was the only person to drive the entire trail that night. 
And that really sums up our passion for four-wheeling. It doesn't matter what you drive, in a group full of Jeeps, it was the Nissan that proved most capable. And yet, when all was said and done, there was no rivalry or bickering over what make is best, no exclusivity as to who or what we wheel with, because at the end of the day, we're all friends with four drives, looking for the next adventure. And really, that's all that matters. So it comes time to say goodbye, but I don't really like saying goodbye, instead I should say hello. Hello to the next adventure.